Hello, happy Sunday to you. And I trust God that you had a wonderful night. And I'm also praying that today, which is the last day, we will have the fullness of it in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you to our daily devotional uh, review of Open Heavens. And today, we are going to be looking at an exciting topic that says, Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. And let's pray before we go into the word. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you because we are your stars. That is your original plan for us. Is there anyone who is listening to me, wherever they are, that what we are doing, that their light has gone down, or even situation has killed their light? By the reason of this word, O oh God, I pray that their light will shine again in the mighty name of Jesus. That's the desire place you want us to be every area of darkness you want us to shine light to we will become the manifestation in the mighty name of jesus thank you precious redeemer for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen i'm so excited about today's topic and it's from our favorite book of matthew chapter 5 verse 16 that's where our memory verse is taken from and i read to you let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven let your light so shine before men. Your shining is not going to be in heaven. Your shining needs to, to happen here on earth. You need to let the people see the light of God in you here on earth. Because your shining must be tied to glorifying God. When you shine the right way, all the glory will go to God. And that is why we must never hide our light. And in today's Bible reading, it, it's, there are so many lessons I want us to see. In the book of Daniel chapter 5, uh, Daniel chapter 6, verse 25 to 28. Let me read to us from the New King James Version. The Bible says, Then King Darius wrote to all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in, the, uh, in all the earth, Peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, and steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall endure to the end. He delivers and rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius, and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Before that testimony of the king, there was something that happened that challenged the light and the and the and the whole entirety of what Daniel stood for. When the people of God said to the king, "He should make a law that cannot be changed," and Daniel they was asked never to pray to any god, but he decided to pray to God, and he went into the lion's den. He came back intact, and it it became. In news to all, the light of Daniel shined so much that there was a decree that, that the, the king made that everyone must serve the God of Daniel. Let me ask you, in your current community, are people seeing the light of God? Can they say, because of the kind of quality of life you are living, or because of the impact you are making, everyone must serve the kind of God you are serving? It's very important. And today, our Father in the Lord is speaking to our parents, speaking to you over there, who has a responsibility of raising our children as stars for the Lord. You know, today I was speaking with one of my friends. He said, you know, many, many believers are not paying attention to what is happening to the junior church, the children, people, because the devil is taking them at a very tender age. By the time you make them teenager and all that, the, our mind is already made up. You are only doing a recovery at that point. We don't pay attention to the children. You know the Bible says when you train up a child in the ways you go, when it becomes so, it will be difficult to follow the ways of the Lord. We have a responsibility to ensure that our children are stars for the Lord. Not stars of the world. Because sometimes we miss it. In pursuit of happiness, in pursuit of becoming oh, the, 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 the superstar, the, 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 the influencer, so to say, we abandon our light. We have exchanged our original light for the light of the devil. And we are not shining in the way God wants us to shine. Many people are having public 
you know a public um awareness today they are public oh uh, you know uh, people know them but they know them their reputation is not there they know them for something negative they know them for the things of the world they are not known for christ they are not bringing glory to god and that's not the kind of light god wants us to shine god wants us to shine so that men can give glory back to him what act of daniel made the entire people that live on earth they can make a degree in heaven and on earth. everybody must have a living god they realized daniel was praying to a living god and our father in the lord said if you are a parent then you have a crucial role to play in the lives of your children so that they can become stars according to proverbs 22 verse 6 you must give them proper training spiritually intellectually and morally in the chapter 11 verse 19 that is it i thank god always for my mother she did she did a good job of raising me she encouraged me to study even when other children were out playing i am what i am today by the grace of god and her effort he also mentioned to us that he can always thank God for his teacher. He said his mathematics teacher. He said that mathematics teacher made sure that he fell in love with mathematics. And look at him, how he turned out today. Today, by the grace of God, is one of the champions in that field, in that subject. And we bless God for it. Which area of your life are you shining the light of God? Are you rather shining or you are dimming the light? Many of us, because of the pressure of the world today, we want to appear like the people of the world today. We are dimming our light for the world light, for the worldly light to shine. And that's not the original purpose of God. What God desires is for us to shine our light so that we can take out darkness, so that we can take out the things that are not godly, so that our light can shine so much that people want to come into the light of God. Daddy was sharing the story. He said, <laughs> this is very interesting. He said, his teacher usually challenged the few of us who showed an interest in the subject to make a hundred percent in our assignment. He said, one day, we did and were very happy, hoping that we had finally impressed him. He said, his reaction, however, kept us in check. He said, look at you. Your mates are now undergraduates. And here you are bragging because you scored hundred percent in ordinary level mathematics he was clearly telling us to strive harder for excellence don't settle for less there's always a room up there there's always an higher place to be you can also influence your shining through hard work proverbs 22 verse 29 children should not waste their time playing when there are more profitable things to do breakthroughs do not come to lazy people Look at Daniel, for example. He was diligent, even when he was nobody, a slave. This young man was eventually enlisted as a minister in Babylon. He became someone of authority, even in a strange land. When there was food and people were dining and order, the Bible says he refused to eat the king's meat, putting himself under check so that he can stay in tune with God. What are you ready to defy? What are you ready to give now so that you can shine the light of God anywhere you go? You need to think about it. The purpose of God for you is to shine and you must shine in the name of Jesus. Finally, he said, if you would shine, you must also strive to obtain the blessings of your parents, both biologically and spiritually. He said, by honoring them, my mother would always pray for me. Thus, she will say, when you call one fellow, 200 will respond. Today, it is the reality in my life. And that's the truth. If that the Joe calls for one today, you know how many millions of people will answer because of the prayer, prayer of, of, of his mother and of course, and the blessings of God that comes with it. Do you have a case where you don't have cordial relationship with your parents and you are trusting God to speak to them? I want to pray with you. I'm asking that the Lord will grant you grace that whatever is stopping you in that or whatever that has happened has caused that gap to happen or that has released some negative utterances into your life by the reason of this word this very time i speak to that situation god is taking those things away and now you have a cordial relationship with them you are receiving their blessings already in the mighty name of and you will shine anywhere you go in the mighty name of jesus as i leave you today Remember to study the book of Psalm chapter 75 or through chapter 77, which is our Bible in one year. And our hymn says, I need thee every hour. 
our prayer point today is that father please help me to do what i should do in order to shine for you now uh, in the mighty name of jesus and i see you shining in the name of jesus god bless you